Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. So today, since it's the month of October, obviously I want to talk about spooky stuff, creature features, and you know, stuff of that nature, obviously. So I just thought this could be a good way to talk about kaiju stuff. Eh, close enough, I guess. So I just thought, yeah, this seems like a good way to talk about Japanese cinema, or just say Asian cinema to be more general, I guess you can say. But either way, I'm a, I want to talk about something spooky, something crazy, wild, just wild stuff, I guess. So the film I will be talking about, of course, is pretty low budget, obviously. So it seems like something I would talk about. I like low budget stuff anyway, for the most part. Anyway, it's the film entitled Gamma Strikes Back, which went under a different title, obviously. And I did review a different version, or versions, I should say, of this movie before. And it's from this pack I'm talking about, this double feature pack. This double feature pack was released in 2005, by the way. So I just figured I could review this version I have right here. But anyway, so it's yet another another version of a film I've already talked about. So let's get into the story, shall we? So here we go. So yes, of course, this is the film where Gamera has to fight off this creature that shoots out like a rainbow out of his body. And this creature is causing destruction, causing havoc. And it's up to Gamera to, uh, to pretty much stop this thing. The human characters just have to go to this island where they were told by the natives not touch this thing, but they end up doing it anyway. But of course, so it's up to Gamera to fix up their plums. Oh boy. So like I said before, this, this is the version I'm talking about here, folks. This one is a double feature. In case anyone is wondering where I purchased this version, and it was at Rasputin. So yeah, I just ran with a stump of across this right there, because I wasn't even looking for this, and I came across it anyway. So this is how the menu looks. You can select which one you want to look at, which I actually do kind of like. I like the design here, folks, for both movies. Gamma strikes again and destroy all planets. So, these obviously are not the original titles of this film, obviously, just saying. But, I do like the design for this here, folks. Looks like a giant creature feature because as it is, obviously. I do like the designs, I like the color schemes that I was using here. It gives you a sense of this wild craziness that's about to happen throughout the entire feature. So, it looks good. I like the detail and whatnot. So, on both of them, actually. So, I like the detail. But for the content, there's not much, really. Like, at all. So, they would advertise other double feature sets that they were released from East West DVD, by the way. So, yeah, a lot of these plug domain obscured low budget stuff that I'm, of course, could. Watch if I feel like it. They're not just from the horror genre, they're from various genres, obviously. Just throwing that out there. So, yeah, there's that. And I actually don't mind these, really. Uh, some are better than others, of course. But I'm just saying. But I just thought I'd just let you guys know. So, that's that's about it, really. So, unfortunately, it's pretty much bare born, really. But I just thought I'd let you know. The sound quality was actually pretty alright, I, I would say. But the thing is that it still has this like VHS tape look to it, really, even though it's on a DVD. But yeah, just like I said, this is from the East West DVD release, of course. And yeah, I just thought I'd just talk about this one. Uh, the monster action is pretty good, even though Gamera's barely in it. But this was one of the better Gamera films that was released from the original series of films. So I'll give it that, obviously. And, yeah, it's just, like, slightly tweaked up. Obviously, this is slightly tweaked up when it comes to the movie itself. Of course, there's going to be some scenes that are missing, obviously. That's not apart from the original version of the film. I'm just throwing it out there. It has Gamma Strikes, again, as a part of the title card. Yeah, that's the actual title card that appears in the movie. So, yeah. Uh, uh, in some ways, it looks kind of nice, I guess. I'm going to give you a few sense of what's going to happen, I guess. So there was that, and but that's the thing though. This the of course is the English dubbed, obviously. The English dubbing was decent, I guess you can say. It's just not out there, obviously. 
so there was that but anyway the thing is that for the company that the east west kind of a thing to release this is that like i said this the uh, company that released this version i suppose they didn't make it but they released it so there were this american company that was pretty much in new york city and the company was active from 2004 to 2012 so it focused on this wide selection of double feature general release sets of course and some of which were of course animations of course obviously and some of it live action and yeah a good chunk of these were the dingo pictures and dingo pictures have got a reputation of being really terrible of course which of course i didn't mention this before and yeah they were known to be as well as these other dollar store dvds kind of a thing of course that's why you, see, you would see the one dollar sign on the disc cover thing out here folks but at least for this version anyway at least at least for the versions of the films that they have released anyway anyway but yeah this was of course something i would talk about so yeah they made all uh, these releases of these plug your main movies and they're not particularly good by any means and yeah that's the thing with dingo pictures they have produced a lot of these obvious knockoffs of course not all of them of course were knockoffs but quite a few more were and they release other animations as well not just these of course yeah you can see where they got some of their money from i guess you can say I'm trying to make some profit on some of these properties Again, I must reiterate, trying to stress you now, this was not the only thing they did, of course, when it comes to Dingo Pictures. And the company I, I referenced earlier, the East West, they, they will release other features, like I was keep saying, obviously, a bunch of other stuff when they were around, of course. And this double features uh, was one of them. Just, so I just want to focus on this movie. And this movie was, like I said, was one of the better movies that they released during the camera original gamma series so i just thought i guess if you want to watch a creature feature kind of a thing with a giant totor for your for the halloween -a -thon, if you want i, I was just suggest this and it just have a crazy old time if you want this could make a good excuse to watch some giant monster stuff and i can say that the the film itself and yeah, as you can actually tell that this film actually had a, a bigger budget than the first Gamera film. So yeah, the director of this film actually wanted to treat the sequel a bit more, I guess, seriously in some ways, which is fine, I guess you can say. I, I'm fine with that. There's nothing wrong with trying to take these movies seriously. And it's not that the first movie can't be taken seriously. It's just the idea here is that Trying to give this like a, a feel of an A list and production feel, even though it technically is a B movie. But that's fine. I like these low budget features anyway. And yeah, you, uh, you can tell there's way more effort in this movie compared to the first film. So uh, it's actually one of my personal favorites when it comes to the original Gamma series, actually. So yeah, I just thought since this is Halloween, I just thought I would talk about one of these creature features kind of stuff to begin with. It's worth a watch, but like I said, uh, earlier this one just of course i'll remind you of that obviously anyway so i would say that it's worth a watch anyway i guess you can say and i'll give this film at least this version i mean an overall rating of a 7.0 then it's a 7.0 for me so of course as always thanks for watching and take care until next time see ya oh yeah